I'm going to show you how to optimize a trading strategy backtest with Pro Real Time. Right now, we are looking at a chart showing a simple strategy which buys when a short term moving average crosses over a long term moving average and shorts when the short term moving average crosses under the long term moving average. This trading strategy also closes all positions five minutes before the end of the trading day. Let's zoom out to take a look at the current results of this system over all of the historical data. As we can see, we began here with a capital of 10,000 and we ended up with a capital of 31,000. Let's see how we can improve this by opening the code of the trading system. To do that, I'm going to click on the wrench right here. I then click on Modify Pro Backtest. You can see that the code is very easy to read. It's separated into several parts. Definition of parameters, conditions to enter long positions, conditions to exit long positions, conditions to enter short positions, and conditions to exit short positions. In the parameters, I have the default parameter that accumulating positions is deactivated, and I've also added a parameter to make my positions close at 21.55, which is 9.55 p.m. Let's look at the conditions to enter long positions. This code uses only two indicators, an MA short, which is a moving average of 20 periods on the close, and an MA long, which is a moving average of 50 periods on the close. You can see that C1 is MA short crosses over MA long. And you can see in the conditions to exit the long positions that it's just the opposite when MA short crosses under MA long. To begin the optimization process, I will replace the parameters of my moving averages with variables. I'm going to replace 20 with the variable short and 50 with the variable long. I'm then going to add these variables using the add button right here in the variable optimization section. The label in the program for the first variable is short and I'm going to call it short MA in the properties window. I'm going to set a minimum value of 10, a maximum value of 50, and use steps of 5. For the second variable, I will also add it here. Its label in the program is long. I'm going to call it long MA for the label in the properties window. Use a minimum value of 30 and a maximum value of 60 with steps of 5. The step interval determines the values that will be tested by the optimizer. With a step of 5, for example, it will test 30, 35, 40, and so on. Click OK when you are finished. We will then finish by clicking Pro Back Test My System and the software will run the optimization. The optimization is now finished. It takes more or less time depending on the number of values that are tested and the step intervals. You can see in the optimized report that it is found that the value for the short moving average of 20 and the value of the long moving average for 30 worked the best for this particular historical data set and this instrument. We can see the gain, percentage gain, number of trades, percentage of winning trades, and average gain per trade for each of these values. You can also see results for other combinations by scrolling down the list. You will see that the 15 and 35 parameters selected here are also shown in the title of the equity curve. You can open a detailed performance report for this back test by clicking on the wrench here and then clicking on detailed report. From here, you can see the overview of the performance of the system with these parameters, the statistics of closed trades, the order list, and the list of closed positions. Once you've finished with your optimization, you can go back to the programming window and replace the variables with the fixed values that you want to use. When you do this, 
the back test will no longer automatically optimize the next time you run it. Remember to also delete the variables from the variable optimization section here. Then just click Pro Back Test My System and you'll be able to run it with the fixed values right here. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.